For this video, I want to cover a couple new enhancements to the interface of ZBrush. First thing we want to take a look at is you'll notice that when you open a subpalette now, there are double line here between sections of certain subpalettes. What this is going to allow you to do is click on those lines to collapse those sections and allow you to customize the look of your subpalette now. So you can also hold the shift key when clicking on these lines to open all groups at once or hold the shift key and click on the line to close all groups at once. So there are a couple preferences for this feature. In your preferences interface sub palette you'll notice that there's a use UI groups which is on by default and then you also have an auto close UI groups. So with this button on what ZBrush will do is when we go to open one of your subgroups it will automatically collapse all other subgroups as it's doing here. So if we were to go back and open up one of these that were closed, you can see from here on out now all subgroups will be closed except for the one that you have opened. The next UI enhancement I want to take a look at is our magnifying glass. So by clicking the letter M you can see that we engage a magnifier that will magnify our document and also magnify our UI. Now this can also be put in a recording when recording with ZBrush. So in your movie palette you'll see that there is an overlay magnify glass. You'll have two buttons where you have a magnify UI and a magnify doc. With these two buttons on with record playback the movie will make sure to always magnify the document and the UI. If you were to turn the magnify dock off in the movie then the document will no longer be magnified but the UI would be. You also have several preferences for this in our in our magnify glass sub palette. So you can make your radius larger, you can adjust your zoom, the fade along the edge. You can put more of a curvature or less of a curvature. And then you also have shadow control and your frame control. Then you have a shadow color, frame color, and then you also have two curves to control the other magnifying features. Now when recording with your magnifier, take note that the size is going to be important for your recordings. So when you have small or medium selected, in the ZBrush recording, the magnifier will be baked within the video. With large selected, you will have the capability now to say what parts do you want to have the magnify on. Do you want the magnify only on the UI? Or do you want the magnify to only be on the document or on both? You'll be able to do that when you record in large. But again, when you record in medium and small, whatever options you had selected, that will be baked right into the movie. And that is the new enhancements to the UI for ZBrush 4 R3. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to watch more on pixelogic.com.